welcome students we are discussing the chapter reach for the top part 1 in the previous section we have seen that in which family santosh yadav took birth what was the desire of her grandmother what were the hurdles before santosh yadav how did she overcome it we have seen lastly she wrote a letter of apology to her father because she did not seek prior permission of her father to take admission in uttarkashi institute she didn't ask she didn't ask the permission of father to get enrolled at uttarkashi that's why she wrote a letter of apology after that we will see pair number 7 what happened you see there after means after taking after enrolling herself at uttarkashi what happened you see santosh went on an expedition every year journey every year santosh went on an expedition means journey every year her climbing skills matured rapidly also she developed a remarkable resistance to cold and the altitude you all know that when you go higher and higher then pressure increases temperature decreases and santosh had managed herself to face cold and high altitude it happens because of taking admission in the institute she got proper training there equipped with an iron will equipped with an iron will will means she had firm determination she had firm desire physical endurance and an amazing mental toughness so these are the three key words to become successful in life iron will physical endurance and mental toughness means whatever you wish to get in your life you have to be tough you must have iron will for that goal you must have physical endurance for that particular goal which you have decided and here in this chapter santosh yadav had decided her goal and to achieve her goal she had iron will she had physical endurance she had mental toughness she proved herself repeatedly every time she got success because of these three keys that is iron will physical endurance and mental toughness the culmination of her hard work and sincerity came in 1992 just 4 years after she had silently asked the aravalli mountaineers if she could join them at barely 20 years of age santosh yadav scaled mount everest becoming the youngest woman in the world to achieve the feat this was the achievement of uh, santosh yadav that she scaled mount everest at the age of 20 it happened only because of her iron will 
physical endurance and mental toughness she did hard work to achieve her goal that's why she scaled mount everest at the age of 20 years and become the youngest women in the world to achieve the feat so that was the achievement of uh, santosh yadav it happened only because of her firm will and firm determination if her climbing skills physical fitness and mental strength impressed her seniors her concern for others and desire to work together with them found her a special place in the hearts of fellow climbers fellow climbers were impressed because of uh, santosh yadav's behavior okay the physical fitness the climbing skill and mental strength of uh, santosh yadav impressed her fellow climbers and she had a desire to work together with them that was the nature of uh, santosh yadav and due to her nature she got a special place in the heart of uh, fellow climbers they appreciated santosh yadav for her behavior for her climbing skill for her physical fitness and for her mental strength okay this is the quality of uh, santosh yadav due to that quality she impressed her fellow climbers so here in this uh, uh, paragraph 7 we uh, discussed uh, the nature of uh, santosh yadav her will her physical endurance her mental toughness because of these three keys she got success in her life she became the youngest women in the world to achieve the feat and what was the achievement she scaled mount everest at the age of 20 years that was her achievement another achievement was that she impressed uh, her fellow climbers because of her nature and her desire to do work together that was the quality of santosh yadav so yahan pe humne dekha ki santosh jo hai har saal journey lete the kiske liye mountaineering ke liye उनका जो क्राइम स्किल था मैच्योर होता गया समय के साथ साथ और उनमें एक इंडोरेंस पावर थी कोल्ड को बियर करने की एल्टीट्यूड को बियर करने की उनके पास आयरन विल था फिजिकल इंडोरेंस था मेंटल टफनेस था बिकॉज ऑफ दिस सी गॉट सक्सेस एंड व्हाट वाज हर सक्सेस दैट सी बिकेम द यंगेस्ट वेमेन इन द वर्ल्ड टू अचीव द फीट and what was her achievement she scaled mount everest at the age of 20 years okay that was her achievement and she also impressed her fellow climbers and she had a desire to do work together with them and this made a special place in the heart of fellow climbers now we move to uh, next paragraph that is paragraph 8 During the 1992 Everest mission, Santosh Yadav provided special care to a climber who lay dying at South uh, Col. She was unfortunately unsuccessful in saving him. However, she managed to save another climber, Mohan Singh, who would. have met with the same fate 
had she not sailed her oxygen with him so here you see that uh, uh, the behavior of uh, um, santosh yadav was discussed here and uh, she was not only a good climber she not only impressed a fellow climbers because of her physical uh, endurance or fitness iron will mental toughness and because of her climbing skill that was increasing day by day she also saved the life of mohan singh who is a climber by sharing her oxygen with him but she failed to uh, save uh, one climber okay so here you see she not only uh, uh, took care of others she also tried to save the life of her fellow climber as she had saved the life of a climber that is mohan singh by providing by sharing her oxygen with him in this way she saved the life of mohan climb uh, mohan singh who is a climber but uh, she failed to save one of uh, the climber so again here we have seen the another uh, appreciable work of uh, um, santosh yadav that was she saved the life of uh, climber mohan singh by sharing her oxygen with him now we proceed to paragraph number 9 see within 12 months santosh found herself a member of an indo nepalese women's expedition that invited her to join them that was the another achievement of uh, santosh yadav that she had become the member of an indo nepalese women's expedition she joined this uh, indo-napolis women's expedition she then scaled the everest a second time the setting a record as the only women to have scaled the everest twice that was the record made by santosh yadav after becoming the member of uh, indo-napolis women's expedition so this she got a chance to scale the mount everest again and she did it and securing for herself and india a unique place in the annals of mountaineering annals here means historic record that was a historic record of uh, uh, santosh yadav that she scaled mount everest twice she did it second time after becoming the member of an indian nepalese women's expedition and india in a unique place in the annals of mountaineering and she and india both got uh, historical historic record of mountaineering in the recognition of her achievement the indian government bestowed bestowed upon her means honored her with uh, one of the nation's top honors the padma shri so for her achievement for her work indian government uh, honored her with uh, the nation's top honors that is padma shri was awarded to santosh yadav for her achievement so here we see that uh, santosh yadav had become the member of uh, indo nepalis women's expedition after that she uh, scaled the mount everest second time after it she had set a record historic record of mountaineering and this is a uh, admirable place for her and india both 
सो इंडियन गवर्नमेंट थे ऑनर्ड हर विथ पद्मश्री ओके सो यहाँ पे हम देखते हैं कि ट्वेल्व मंथ के बाद जो है वो इंडो नेपलीज वीमेन सेपरेडिशन की मेंबर बनती है इसके बाद वो उसको एक मौका मिलता है दोबारा एवरेस्ट पे चढ़ाई करती है और सेकेंड टाइम वो सक्सेसफुल होती है और ऐसा करने के बाद वो जो है हिस्टोरिक रिकॉर्ड बनाती है माउंटेनिंग के क्षेत्र में जिसमें इंडिया को भी स्थान मिलता है उसको भी स्थान मिलता है इट इज़ अ प्राउड मोमेंट फॉर बोथ इंडिया एंड संतोष यादव एंड फॉर दैट इंडियन गवर्नमेंट बेस्टोड अपॉन हर वन ऑफ द नेशंस टॉप ऑनर्स दैट इज पद्मश्री सो पद्मश्री वॉज अवॉर्डेड टू हर Now we move to next uh, paragraph. Describing her feelings when she was literally on top of the world, Santosh has said. Now, she was on the top of the world, and here, what remark she has made, we will see. Santosh said. Santosh has said. it took some time for the enormity of the moment to sink in the enormity of the moment means a very great moment definitely it was a great moment for santosh yadav then i un unfold the indian tricolor and held it aloft on the roof of the world that was the feeling of संतोष यादव आफ्टर रीचिंग द टॉप ऑफ माउंट एवरेस्ट सी अनफर्ड द इंडियन ट्राई कलर हेल्ड इट अ लॉफ्ट ऑन द रूफ ऑफ द वर्ल्ड द फीलिंग इज इनडिस्क्राइबल दिस फीलिंग कैन नॉट बी डिस्क्राइब्ड एंड वॉट इज द फीलिंग हियर अनफॉर्लिंग द इंडियन ट्राई कलर ऑन द रूफ ऑफ द वर्ल्ड that was the great feeling for santosh yadav that cannot be described it was truly a spiritual moment the indian flag was flying on the top of the world it was truly a spiritual moment i felt proud as an indian so this was the feeling of uh, uh, santosh yadav when he scaled mount everest twice and there she unfurled the indian tricolor and held it on the roof of the world that feeling cannot be described in the words of santosh yadav but it was a great moment for her and for the country it was truly a special moment and she felt proud as an indian also a fervent fervent here means having strong and sincere feelings environmentalist santosh recollected and brought down 500 kg of garbage from the himalayas that was the another achievement she reached at the top of the world and from there she collected 500 kg of garbage from himalayas she brought down 500 kilograms of garbage you see that was the achievement of santosh yadav so in this part 1 of the chapter reach for the top we have seen those who are at the top of the world or those who are successful in their life they had faced a lot of hurdles problems in their life they overcome it and become successful here in this part we have seen the hurdles success of santosh yadav how did she overcome her hurdle how did she become successful 
this we have seen so in all you can say no pain no gain that is the key point of life whenever you want to get success in life you have to take pain without pain there is no success success has meaning if there is hurdle if there is no hurdle then no one can understand the test of success okay so this we have discussed uh, the part 1 of the chapter reach for the top okay thank you